Now, with the archaea, we have seen archaea before. We have labeled them as extremophiles. And we have said that they are extremely divergent from other life forms. So when we looked at our tree of life, archaea is the first domain. And it shares some characteristics in common with bacteria. And it shares some characteristics in common with you. But what we look at, these archaea have some unique structures in their DNA, so some unique gene structures that actually make them able to withstand pH, temperature, extremes, and so on. We think about 30% of the organisms living in Antarctica are actually archaea. All of them are going to be single-celled with no nucleus. We find them all over the place. So here are a couple of examples of uh, hotbeds that you find a lot of these extremophiles. So high or low temperatures, high pressures, high salts, extreme pH, all of these things, they are of terrific interest to biotechnology because we can look at how they behave under these extreme conditions. And we've actually found a number of bacteria that are, uh, or archaea, that are very good at cleaning up radiation, very good at cleaning up heavy metals. So their work in biotechnology is really probably in its infancy at this point. The problem is we don't know very much about culturing them in the lab to work with them. So to do experiments in the lab is very difficult because they don't, they have all of these extreme conditions that they want to live in, so growing them in a simple flask in the lab is very, very difficult. 